الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب In a hadith in Sahih Muslim a man set out to visit a brother of his in another town and as soon as he took off, Allah Azza wa Jal sent an angel. And this angel met him on the way. He stopped him. Said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to visit a brother of mine. He said, is there some, some business that is unfinished? Is there anything you're trying to, to rectify? Anything that is issue? He said, no, not really. Except that I love him for the sake of Allah. I have no other, I'm traveling, he's traveling from one town to another just to visit the brother. The angel told him, I am the messenger of Allah to you, not the messenger of Allah, yani the messenger from Allah, because the malaika are rusul. I am the messenger of Allah unto you to tell you that Allah has loved you because of that love you have for that brother. Allahu Akbar. That's it. Didn't buy him a house, didn't give him a car, didn't do anything, he's just visiting him. Just a visit. In fact, when you visit someone, do you benefit or, or do you lose? You benefit. Juice, coffee, cake. It's a win-win situation. That's why many people, when they're hungry, they visit their friends. That's the only time. Ah, I wonder why you're here. You didn't have lunch. How did you know? Everybody knows. You only visit when you're hungry. So you're the winner. You see? And yet, he just, all he did was visit him for the sake of Allah. He acquired Allah's love with this very simple act of worship. 